Had the genie scissor lift in, uh, just finished changing the hydraulic oil in that. And now I'm gonna change the engine oil. So I'll give you a look at that. This is a GS3268 Rough Terrain. So Genie GS3268 Rough Terrain. Uh, so um, for Genie numbering, um, I, as far as I can make out, I think this means this is a Genie scissor lift that goes 32 feet high and has a deck that's 68 inches long and it's rough terrain. So it has the four wheel drive and the rough tires. It's not like a smooth tire inside machine. Um, so that's what the numbering means on this. And now we'll hop over. This side has the hydraulic tank, hydraulic filter, the hydraulic controls, the battery is all on this side along with the electronic control panel. On the other side is the engine compartment. I didn't leave myself a lot of room, but I got enough to change that oil on that. One awesome thing about Genie's, and I suspect other scissor lifts, um, I had a Z45 before this. It had this same kind of thing. So you pull the little pin, unscrew it a little bit, pull it out, and once you pull that up, you can pull on the engine and swing the whole thing out away from the body, which makes that super easy to get to. Um, and then we can get to the oil plug, which is right, right through that hole right there is where the oil's at. Um, this is a gas engine that's made by Kubota. It's just a, a little tiny gasser. Uh, I think it's like a 0.75 liter. It's a three-cylinder. It's the DF, um, what was it, DF752, DF752. Um, and, and it's only like 25 horsepower. Um, but I've been, I've been real happy so far with this engine. It seems to start well every time, um, runs smooth, decently quiet. Um, but... Overall, it doesn't use a lot of fuel, you know, so it's got a, about a 15 gallon tank and, uh, and and I can work for about two weeks um, on that much fuel, which is pretty amazing. Um, the only problems I've had so far on this machine have been with this. This is the choke cylinder. It's an electric solenoid that engages this to do the choke um, and this I had a problem with that um, but it was easy to replace so let's get to this oil change super simple oil change plugged right there all right uh, 14 millimeter socket Pretty black and ugly. It definitely needed changed. Um, bought this machine used. I put, I'm not sure, maybe 50 hours on it. Um, put it straight to work before I serviced it. So now um, it came in because I was having some problems with the hydraulic oil circulation. So while it's here in the shop, we'll go ahead and get this oil drained and changed. The manual's calling for a, a 15W40 weight oil. Um, I think I'll probably go with a little bit lighter synthetic oil for, for because it, it's winter now. Um, it's going to be outside every day for winter use. Well, that's draining there. Uh, let's take a quick look over the engine. I'll just give you a, a look at it, just show you how it's set up. Um, so first off, it, for one, it's just it's just beautifully simple. But uh, some things that I like: this radiator, real easy to get to, and it's got it's it's a simple cowl. It's got a nice boot that presses into this frame right here. So the airflow through this radiator from the suction on this unit goes through this very effectively. Um, I've had a couple of machines where the radiator wasn't placed well in the machine or it didn't have good cowling or, or, or good duct work, whatever you want to call it, 
to draw the air through the radiator. But this this setup it is really nice. It just presses right in there and then uh, really gets the airflow through the radiator onto the engine. Uh, the air filter is back here. Um, just really straightforward. Okay, now that that's drained, we're gonna I'm gonna push this out a little bit more so I can get around to the back side where the oil filter is at. Uh, oh yeah, it goes way out further. All right, there's the oil filter, tiny little filter for a tiny little engine, and uh, I'm in luck. It's already got a Napa Gold on here, so that's gonna be easy to get a hold of. It's a Napa one three. Five, seven filter one three five seven filter and if you've seen my other videos you know that I like pliers oil filter pliers over like the band wrench um, they just get in there better I feel like plus this filter is so tiny um, I'd have to have multiple size band wrenches um, but this is just gonna grab this guy so and of course it damages it but it doesn't matter because this is the filter that's going away and getting tossed. So, all right, okay. And when I put on a filter, uh, I just put it on hand tight by hand. I don't use the filter wrench to put on the filter ever. Um, all right, time to get this thing filled up. The book says three and a half quarts. Um, I'm not going to necessarily. Go by that, I've had manuals that were wrong. Um, I'm just gonna go by the dipstick. Um, so when the dipstick says full, I'm gonna say full. So filling it up by the dipstick. Um, it was really good to change the oil on this. This, this oil that was in here was super black. Um, not too surprising. Lifts tend to miss service sometimes. Um, and the, this one's been running on gas, and the gas will cause the oil to be much dirtier than if the lift is running on propane. This lift will also run on propane, um, and uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. One, propane is way safer inside. It doesn't have the particulate matter. Um, it has way less... Um, carbon emissions, that kind of thing, it's way safer to breathe. So if you're going in and out of a building or you're in an environment that's not very well vented, propane is definitely the answer and you should run the lift on propane. Um, my experience is the lift won't run as long off the propane tank, however. So uh, your fill cycles for fuel are more frequent. Um, however, the engine, theoretically, should actually last a lot longer and require less service if the machine is run on propane. Um, gas will have more, just more gunk that builds up in the carburetor, uh, more gunk in the engine, it, and propane burns much, much cleaner. Um, so not only is it probably better for the environment, it is better for the engine, and the engine will last longer, or should last longer, if the machine is run on propane. Um, so that's my take on that. All right, we'll get this thing closed up, motor pushed in, um, and uh, try to fire it up, see if it fires up. Uh, the last Genie I had, when he did the oil change, it wouldn't fire right away. Um, it would say that it had low oil pressure and it would have to be started like four or five times before the oil pressure indicator went away but uh you see oh this one fires right up. so this one fired right up and it's ready to go so thanks for watching uh, this is my scissor lift i have a variety of other equipment uh, i post videos from time to time on uh, if you're interested in that kind of thing also i do uh, building videos uh, right now i'm in the process of building a house solo out in the woods in montana um, so if you want to see a guy building a house all alone, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and it actually helps me out a little bit, hoping to generate a little revenue so I can 
keep building houses out here by myself. <laughs>